Um, I just thought I'd give an update to um, all my subscribers that I am now officially an elected official in Butler County, Pennsylvania, specifically the borough of Eau Claire. I am a auditor and for a six-year term. Um, not sure exactly what my position will entail at the moment. I'll be contacting the um, borough council and finding out exactly what uh, my duties and responsibilities are for the next six years as a um, borough elected official. So, uh, auditor. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with accounting, keeping track of the dollars and cents. So, um, I'll keep you informed on what's going on uh, with that. And, um, so stay tuned for more on what's going to happen with being an auditor. Um, and, uh, what exactly that means. So, a little short video on this. Um, so far I know it's for six years. I also know there's a two-year auditor and a four-year auditor. Um, but I haven't be elected as the six-year auditor. Um. So how this process worked is there on November 7th during the election, general election, um, the borough had those positions up and no one was actively running for them. So it was write-in only. So someone, at least one person, um, wrote my name in. I then received notification of this on the 22nd that there was a meeting called casting of lots meeting to determine who would be offered the position. Um, as the auditor elect because apparently there was more than one write-in vote and um, we all received the same number of votes so after going to the Bureau of Elections um, today to sign an affidavit and turn that in um, accepting the position I talked to them more about that process and they told me how that works is uh, what they do in the borough's office, the um, Bureau of Elections office, is they cast lots or they vote, essentially. they. Uh, she said it's similar to rolling a dice. Um, the, rolling the dice. Um, and it's a, land, a random draw pick um, from all of the candidates that received the same number of votes. And whoever gets drawn, uh, their name, they're offered first. Um, and then if they decline, it goes to the next one and so on until they run out of candidates. And if they run out of candidates um, willing to accept the position, then the position simply goes vacant until the next election. So, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how that well that goes. Um, vacant elected positions. Interesting concept. Um, and then uh, once the ballot, the casting of lots is handled, a notice goes out to the individual who was chosen if they're not there in person. I wasn't there in person because I didn't know about it in time to be there and make a point to be there. So um, I wasn't there. And I received notification, so then fill out a affidavit as well as a um, another form which I have here uh, it's in my pocket right here and it is a state ethics commission um, survey I guess you'd call it um, it's a form it says financial liabilities things like that um, any conflicts of interest, um, those kind of things. So uh, that gets mailed to Harrisburg, the capital, and um, to the state, and gets filed there. So stay tuned. Um, more to come on what it means to be an elected auditor for the borough of Eau Claire. Uh, so stay tuned, and uh, may God richly bless you today.